I first saw how to videos. That's what I'll call it. Didn't know what I'll call it until just now. And I dress for the occasion. I am a number two pencil. Since I'm going to teach you how to do stuff. First lesson fireworks. You might be asking yourself, how do you make a firework? Well, first you have to make a fire firework star. And firework stars are pretty simple to make. It says gunpowder and color. A dye. Or color, whatever you want to call them. And it makes a firework star. And I have all the ingredients in here. As you can see, with it says gunpowder and these I will show you the different ways how to make them. It is pretty simple. By doing it this way, you get a normal firework star. A normal firework star is just a small little blast. But by adding a fire charge to the mix like so, you can actually make it bigger as shown by the picture. But, if you go ahead and add in a gold nugget, you get a star shape, as seen by picture. And if you add in a feather, it makes all, it's another type of explosion, it's um, like a blast. That's what it says. Um, all it does is like a uh, almost like a implosion, more than an outward ball, more or less, as shown by picture. There's one last shape that there is, and that is a creeper head. Um. For some reason, no matter what head you put on, they all become creeper heads. I do not know why this is. I wish you could get a skeleton head or zombie head, but as I'll show you here, two, two, and green. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. And a creeper. Yeah. As I showed you, I will go ahead and make three of the other ones. Three large, small, three stars. Now, unlike the others, diamond and glowstone does other stuff. I will start with a diamond. These does effects. A diamond added to the mix does a tail effect. What it is is basically the rain. If you ever seen fireworks when they explode and you see them rain down, that's what that does. And the glowstone makes it do the uh like the when the, you see them explode. And you hear that crackling noise off in the distance. That's basically what that does. The sparkle effect. Ooh, shit. Sure. 
Sorry, I did forget to say picture after those. I did have examples by all of them. And it's simple to make these ones. Just add this and add color. Boop, boop, boop. Give it jibba jabba. Wahoo. Now, now for the added, now for the next part, actual firework making. Now for fireworks, it's basically the same thing. You just replace whatever you were doing to make an effect with gun, with the firework star, and then you just add paper. So yeah, it's simple. And there's a math mathematical way to measure the height of when the firework will go off by adding one, two, or three gunpowder. If you add one gunpowder, it goes from 12 to 21 blocks high. Wrong button. If you add two gunpowder, it goes from 23 to 38 blocks high and three gunpowder is 40 to 57. What you cannot see is me having a notepad because I could not remember that. Now I will show you how to make them. They are very simple. Just take the paper, take your star, take a gunpowder, and voila, firework. And I will tell you this, fireworks is the only thing you cannot spawn in creative mode. You can spawn in the fire star, but not the firework. You have to make it even in creative mode. Now, as you just saw, I made a firework pretty easily. Now, let me show you the trick. You can add one, add this. And now your firework has two different effects, two shapes, two stuff. You can do a whole bunch of cr uh, lovely firework stands. Now I'm going to go ahead and make all these, and I'm going to wait until nighttime and show you a fireworks display. Uh, yes, if you want to know how to make the non exploded gun firework, it's just uh, this, yeah. So. Just uh, gunpowder and paper. Yeah, that makes the non-exploding rocket. As you can see, they're all loaded up, every single one. Now, let's go back and watch them. Uh, this is a uh, repeater. It, once you set the redstone signal, this will keep it going forever. Um, if you want to know how to make it, go. What uh, Yogcast will, he will, he shows you how to make that. I will show how to make it later on. Redstone is very difficult to deal with. So yeah, let's watch the fireworks, shall we? You can see what I mean by that. How it just goes and goes and goes. You can even slow it down by slowing this down. Yay! As you can see, fireworks are very beautiful and very annoying. As you can see, if you don't put any uh, star in it, this is all it does. That's without a star. So, yeah. These are the types I usually make when I'm in the uh, thing. So it's no star, just gunpowder, paper. And I usually make these to scare people. Oh, and you can also launch these off underneath. 
And if you got a fireworks dart, that will scare the crap out of people. Especially, you know, PvP play, uh, one or factions, one of those. I like to have fun when I'm in factions. Especially in the creatures faction. So, yeah. Well, that's it. That's pretty much fireworks. So, yeah. The next time you will see me, I will teach you how to make a armor stand. That's the new thing in 1.8.1 or 8.0. And then I'll also show you how to make a banner as well since uh, armor stand is pretty much just slab and sticks. So, yeah. I will teach you how to make banners and make all the lovely shapes and even a couple f simple flags from the American flag, a Japanese flag, and the British flag. So yeah. As as a no, Chimonheim says, let's stop.